here are supposed to be pastors, men of God. God brought your wives first, and now He's bringing you gradually. Harodush, keep ahead. Some of the great men of God you see out there, do you think they just became great overnight? While you were just talking, God started speaking to me. It reminded me of what happened in my program in Baltimore, Maryland. One time that I was there, all the men came out and God did something. Some of them got filled with the Holy Ghost. Some of them started speaking in tongues. Things were happening to them. God wants to do that here. If you speak in tongues, pray in tongues. Speak it out loud. God brought all of you here. That's why you stayed from the beginning to the end. God is going to use a lot of you here mightily. Even to help this ministry. Father, you told me to present them before you, and that's what I'm doing. Whatever it is they are asking for, Father, I want them to testify. I want them to receive. I see angels touching you. Women, leave them. Leave them. They will be fine. Move from them. Angels, take your position. Touch their head. I see touch. They are touching you on your head. Some of you will feel heat on your body. Some of you will feel chills. Some of you will feel tinglings. Don't worry about anybody. This is God that you are praying to. Your Father. It's not just a God of the women here. Even for the men. Some of you here, spiritual wives have been attacking you. I command that demon to leave you now. In the name of Jesus. Out and never come back to them. In the name of Jesus. Some of you have some strong generational curses affecting your family. Background things that is bothering your family, things that happened to your father, your grandfather, beginning to happen to you, things that are happening to your brothers, your family is coming to you. I break every generational curse in the name of Jesus. I cut every chain, I break every chain that has been used to tie you, your children, your wife, your your family in the name of Jesus. I destroy any shrine that is fighting in you and your family in the name of Jesus every blockage in your life I unblock them in the name of Jesus even as you leave this program you are not leaving the same next time you come back here it will be testimony father anoint your children God is anointing people some of you will have some powerful encounters some of you people will not even believe it when they see you again the love of god will fill your heart some of you the way you will even begin to love god it will even be more than the way your wife loves god <laughs> you were the one that was supposed to come close but god used your wife to bring you receive new tongues and if you don't speak in tongues now i command your tongues to be losing right now begin to speak in tongues right now open your mind ba 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 ya ta 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 he repeated tete roso poloto he marandia mokro soto marie epele he kruma ataya do not close your mouth open it and the spirit of god he will give you a chance you will begin to speak in tongues he prayed at also peter was not a woman he was a man john was not a woman he was a man 
all these wonderful people we read about they are men of God in the Bible Elijah Elisha David they are all men he brought all of us so you are not different from them the Akuma Alataya he prayed Etusia I don't know why people think that only women are supposed to be women of God what happened to the men he had a sata Maradia so pray no pray to the Messiah he called a we are always reading about this man and you are here wondering God wants to use you why do you think you stayed for so many days you are not even tired God is calling you God has great plans for you God wants to use you mightily open up our shadows himono mokoto mana hia ama supele maroto madakata ya supele yada mriana god was the one who brought you out it was not a coincidence this is how god wanted it there's something some of you know you are supposed to be closer to God your relationship is supposed to be better than this you know this you feel this you know this God has been calling your attention you are different God has singled you out God has great plans for you father father touch him Touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them, and I touch them, and I touch them. Oh, a heavy anointing is being released right now. A heavy anointing is being released right now. Receive your portion. 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 Receive it right now. Receive, receive, receive. Receive your portion. Receive your portion. Masata <laughs> Aboriada, 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 Eoselehia, Eoselehia, receive your portion, receive, receive, receive it, receive it, receive your portion, receive it, receive your portion. God will use you mightily, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive your portion, receive it, receive it, Arabatusa. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Let it come out, let it flow, let it flow. Madabosa, Ibrahim Etalaha, receive it, receive your portion, receive it, receive yours, receive it. You didn't come all the way from Trinidad for nothing, receive it. Napotolo Bosete, Maradiska, Maradobosia, Ibra Atayadosa, receive your portion. Receive it, ma a celebrity ata, usine anamaza. Receive your portion. May God settle you. Anything that is troubling you, may God fix it for you. In the name of Jesus. Now receive it. Receive your portion. In the name of Jesus. Ma kadia atayaha. Receive your portion. In the name of Jesus. Ma la celebrity ata. Receive, receive, receive. Ah ha ha. Receive your portion. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Oh, You are free. In the name of Jesus. Receive your portion. Now begin to speak. When I touch you, something has happened. You have received. You have received. You are healed. Everybody pray in the Holy Ghost. Something is happening. 
These men are getting anointed. They will never be the same again. I see a lot of them holding microphone and preaching, highly anointed, doing deliverance, pulling crowd, bringing people to God. You think you are here by accident? God wants to use you. You have received a mokanana Namania Namania. Oh God, from today you will have so many encounters. God will visit you the way He visits me. Take it seriously. People were mocking me, but look at me now. People say I'm just making up stories, but look at me now. The same God who has transformed my life, He will transform your life too. He will visit you, He will bless you. I know my city, He pradaya toto, malekete, malekete, malekete. God says pray God says pray God loves it when men pray 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 oh the women have been praying all along it is time for the men to pray oh there are too many Shia I told you the many great people in the Bible they are men <laughs> they are not women they are men so don't tell me this is all about women no that's what the enemy wants you to think men worship God men bow before God men kneel before God men love God don't listen to the devil making it seem like loving God is for women oh Jesus wasn't he a man? What? Moses, a man. Noah, a man. David, a man. Apostle Paul, a man. All of these people we read about, they are all men. So what are you telling them? Stop acting tough in the presence of God. God is powerful when you humble yourself before him he will anoint you he will lift you up he will change your story he will make you great you will understand why he brought you to school of power it's not just about watching me there's more it's for your own good a lot of you have received so much you will begin to function differently even the way you pray will change the way you dream will change the way you love God will change some of you men will be crying look at Dre is crying and speaking in tongues Break with my mic, put mic, let me just hear their tongues. Oh my God. Yes, oh yes, oh. So. We want to hear men pray. We want to hear men pray. Pass it. Turn on this mic for me. And don't be I'm an I need a mic. I don't do manahaja. Come on now. Put it in his mouth. Let us hear what he's saying. It's not working. Let them turn on the mic. They turned off all the mics. Harupataya. Nakarada Shuda. 
Namaria Asubeletia, Yakatune Masia, Uranda Yasaya, Rata Tata, Raka Kaka 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 Kaka, Rata 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 Tata, Rata Raka, Rekitiva Kata, Masiki Tiva Kuda, Yakitiva Kata, Masiki. I don't hear you. Keep praying. Don't stop. Don't stop. A heavy anointing. Repatushi. He's crying. That's right. He's the anointing. You came here to receive. I told you all the great people in the Bible God is doing something. This program is for you too. Not just for your wife. Not just for the women. But for you too. Oh my God. Look at men bowing down to God. That's how it's supposed to be. God is powerful. All of the men bow to him. Kneel down. Kneel down to our Father. Bow. 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 Kneel down. Get on your knees and bow to your Maker. He is the reason why you are Lord. He is the reason why you have that job. Why you have that business. No man is greater than God. Bow down. Kneel down. Kneel down. Kneel down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep praying. God is doing something. God is showing the world. Somebody cut in the mask. Lebre iata nika lipa pa lipa pa elo na pata ya brete ya lipa pa elo. Leave me alone. Maratu se peleta marata ya ba. As you are there, talk to God. Some of you have been proud. You need to humble yourself before Him. No one is greater than God. No one is more powerful. No one is more important. No one is more special. Father, this is humbling to see the men pour out their hearts to their Father. God has saved you many times. God has helped you many times to take care of your family. God has come through for you many times. Sometimes these women don't really know how their husbands feel. But they pour their heart to God. They pour their heart out to God. And God has heard them many times. God has come through for them. So the way you've been pouring your heart to God. Pour it out again. Pray. Don't worry about your wife. Don't worry about the world. Just you and God right now. Just you and God right now. Just you and God right now. Five days of glory. It's not for you to come here and be looking good in different outfits. No. It is for you to have an encounter with God. It is for something to leave you and the Spirit of God to come inside. It is for a change when you go back. Even God will be pleased with you. You cannot be in such a powerful atmosphere. You cannot be in such a powerful atmosphere and not receive and not repent. And not some, something must change. Something must happen. And I was watching online. If you're a man watching from the house, you need to bow to your father and pray like never before. Don't worry about anyone else. I tell you, starting from today, you will begin to have encounters upon encounters. We've been watching these women testify. It's time for the men to testify. It's time for you to be blessed. It's time for you to be anointed. 
it's time for the men to shine it's time for you to be restored all that the enemy has stolen from you sometimes you don't have anyone to talk to because people expect you as a man to be strong but they don't know that even you you have things that you need God to help you with you have things that you worry about right now you and your God talking to God talking to God pour it out that's right father answer them father hear them father touch them visit them father give them testimonies let them have encounters with you use them mightily anoint them take away that heavy load from their shoulders men normally have a lot of responsibilities people don't really know the kind of load that you carry just because you're always smiling it doesn't mean all is well with you all the time you may have a business you may do this or that but you know that sometimes there's a lot of pressure you know that sometimes you too you need help you need someone to to, to help you to talk to you to comfort you but you have to be strong for the family you have to be strong for everyone you know by now your life should not be like this you should have gone far should have done more but while you are busy being the man for everyone and the family who's there for you no one but God and that's the God that you're praying to right now God knows it all he brought you out today because he didn't want you to live here without receiving your touch and you have received in Jesus Wow, somebody clap for Jesus. Wow, God brought them from standing to going down. This is the God that I know. Stand up everybody. God can humble anyone. And as you've gone down, that's how God will lift you up. God says, when you submit yourself unto him, you humble yourself before him. He will lift you up. So as you have gotten up now, your lifting up has begun. Next time you come, you're not talking about your wife or anybody. You're talking about your encounters. Your change, the changes in your life. And you're going to talk to your friends about God. See, while I was praying, God was reminding me of all the men in the Bible. There were more men than women. In fact, how many women are there? They are David, man, Jesus, man, Apostle Paul, man. All of these people, Noah, Abraham, Moses, man, 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 man. What is happening in this generation? Why are the men sleeping? God wants you to wake up and be grateful, God. You have received. Somebody clap for the man. You can go to your seat now. Wow while they were talking it's like a strong anointing came over me and God told me to present them before him wow you did look at all of you looking tired and drunk this is powerful clap 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 come on now wow five days of glory oh my god wow Wow. Oh my God. I hope the men online were tapping too. I saw angels touching their heads. And suddenly God told me to touch them. Some of what you receive now is too much for some of you. Even your dreams will change. I saw spiritual wives leaving them. Spiritual spouse leaving them. All those someone trying to sleep with you in the dream days are over. Now you will be seeing God and God will be giving you assignments, speaking to you. You will be having visitations. Encounter just like those men in the Bible. You can't be reading your Bible and thinking that that was for them and not for you. No, it also applies to you. Hallelujah. 
And then I saw a bunch of these men here. I saw them holding mic. I even saw some people with big audience preaching. Not just preaching, but with anointing, like highly anointed. People were just falling on the floor. And some of them that I saw, if I tell them now, they'll be surprised. It's like the people that don't even think that God will use them. That's how God works. Look at me from a party girl to this. I'm the least person that anyone would think. The ones that were even just like David's brothers. When, when um, what's it called? Samuel came to anoint the next king. They presented the ones that looked presentable in the eyes of men. But God rejected all of them. The one that was not even present is the one that they had to go call him to come. The one that was not even rushing to be touched. In fact, I don't think he cared about being a king. That's how God works. The ones that least expect for God to use them. Sometimes even the ones that gave their wife the hardest time. Because that will make your testimony even better. And you will reach more people. They say, well, if this one can, can change, then anyone. Somebody clap for Jesus. Wow. I didn't see this coming. God just surprised us again. Every time he wants me to do something, I just feel, when they were talking, I was, and I knew I had to do something. How are you guys feeling, man? Just wave your hands. Feel great? You feel weak, right? Oh. <laughs> You know, my ministry is so supernatural that I can tell you that when you go to sleep tonight, God will come in your dream. Yeah. You'll even see God in your dream touching you again, showing you what happened here. God will give you assignments, give you gifts. Some of you will go, that job you couldn't get, you will get it. That business that wasn't working. There's always a lot of testimonies here. We're not just here to make noise. We're here for God. To bring people to God. One day when you guys become who God wants you to be. You will look for the videos. You will go and look for my video. In fact I encourage all of you. Whenever you show up in my video. Save that video. Or screen record the part where you showed up. Keep it somewhere. One year, two years from now. When you begin to tell your story. You will tell how it started. Just like me. I have my videos from day one of speaking in tongues. You're telling a story. Don't be. I'm telling you. If Professor Man laid hands on you or prophesied to you. Look for that part. If you have to record it. Save it. Because you know I have the many videos. Before you know it to be far, 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 far. You can't find it. Save it. Because next year. That prophecy will be happening. Or. Oh, some of these guys here now when they become men of God or great people they will say when I came out here that time <laughs> I was even saying my wife is always making me watch look at me now you need it you know how I always say for record's sake God taught me how to keep records I'm very detailed every money I spend here too I keep record of everything even if I gave you hundred hundred dollars I keep record of everything because if we can be so detailed with our own businesses or working for somebody, God's business deserves even more details. Like we need to be more precise, more accountable when it comes to God. Don't do his thing anyhow. He's watching. He knows. Why some men of God are not able to have money? They are careless with God's money. But me, even if I give you $50, I account for it. I want him to see what I'm doing. Transparency. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Because I'm in it for his sake. Not for my will. Hallelujah. Wow. Did some people buy oil? I saw you guys got oil. The oil was for me to anoint you guys. I didn't know you were going to get yours too. Bring my oil for me. I still feel the anointing. I want to anoint everybody here. Thank you, Lord. You just come and I'll just. God told me to do this two days or three days ago. I need my oil, guys. Thank you. I just.
still feel it. Let's keep playing. 